This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hi friends! Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back! For today's video, I'm going to take you guys along with me as I do my first ever pop-up event. So a little backstory, I live in a small town in Mississippi, and downtown there's a boutique that sells all things Mississippi made. So you have like baked goods, you have pillows, you have greeting cards, anything that is made in Mississippi, they basically have there. And it's a super cute boutique for gifts, especially, you know, during this holiday season. So I've worked in the past with the store owners, but they invited me to do a special pop-up event in their shop. And of course I had to say yes, like that is such a cool experience and opportunity so in this video, I'm going to show you guys all of the prep I do for it and then of course the event itself I've never done a single pop-up event like I usually have only done markets in the past So this event is specifically just for me and people will get to come in see me crocheting in real time See all the plushies that I'm offering at this pop-up event and yeah, it'll be really really cool Since it's like a small pop-up event I don't plan on prepping to the extent of like a market So I'm gonna be doing a limited stock and I'm not gonna try and push myself too hard because right Right now, I have a lot going on. I'm trying to fulfill this large turtle order. I'm still wrapping up all of the commission pieces for Christmas. And then also, I'm just trying to prepare myself for the holidays and get like all the gifts for my family and friends. But all right, I'll stop talking and let's get into today's video. Hello friends, so I'm checking in because as I mentioned in the introduction, we have my pop-up event coming up this Saturday. So I have a few days to prepare and I said I wasn't gonna like do any crazy prep, but I figured I do need to add some more plushies to my repertoire. So I will show you guys what I have so far. So this basket is all of my leftover plushies from my market in August. And as you can see, we have the original Jumbo Octopi from my market back in April. They didn't sell in April, they didn't sell in August. So they are coming with me to the pop-up shop. Hopefully they get adopted. So I have these two. Oh no, wait, hold on, things are falling. We also have these little egg penguins. These are also from my market back in April. Again, they didn't sell in both April and August, so bringing these with me. Then we have my little baby eagle. I just never got around to listing him on my shop, so he's coming to the pop-up event with me. Next, we have this Triceratops, and again, I just didn't get around to listing him on my Etsy, so he will be coming to the pop-up event. He's so cute. Then we have a bunch of mini Triceratops. These mini Triceratops did not sell at my previous market in August, so they are coming along with me as well. We also have some flower keychains from the August market. They're coming. We have the mushy pops that didn't sell in August. They're coming too. We have my pumpkin pie ghost. I just didn't get around to selling him and since you know Thanksgiving just passed and we are no longer in the October November um, time frame I might just list him for super cheap like five bucks he's still really cute okay next we have two emotional support pickles they are also left over from my August market I will be bringing them all right and then we have some leggy froggies left over I'll be bringing these and then lastly, I just have my little octopus keychain that I will also be selling. Yup, so there you go. Here's everything I already have. So on top of that, I think I will make some of my other best sellers. So I'm gonna be making some mushy boys, some mallards, some mini turtles, some mini dinos. I'm trying to think what else. I think that's good for now, honestly. I don't wanna bring too much just because this pop-up event isn't a full-blown market, so I don't think that's entirely necessary. But yeah, I'm excited to see how it goes. But all right, I'm gonna go crochet now. I totally forgot about the keychains hanging up in the background, but I will also be bringing these little babies to the pop-up event. So my egg keychain, my little chicken, two little octopi, and then up here we will bring this little mini mushy boy, and then also this little axolotl. So they will also be brought to my pop-up event. Coming back on because I totally forgot to mention that I wanted to include some bees and some chickens for my pop-up event. So I went ahead and made a bee and I mentioned this in a previous video, but I've been really obsessed with the Premier Pixie Dust 
yarn and this is like a very nice like thin fuzzy sparkly yarn you can really see it with the black here like look at that sparkle so I went ahead and made a bee out of it and this was my first time making a bee out of the Premier pixie dust yarn and I love how it turned out guys this is the bee look at him oh my gosh just so freaking cute I love the size too it's like not too small not too big and this is my bee pattern I will link it down below I used a size 4.5 millimeter hook just because this yarn is pretty thin so if I use my typical 5 millimeter hook the stitches might not be as tight so I'm really really happy with how this bee turned out so next on my list is the size down to maybe like a 2.5 or even maybe like a 3 millimeter hook and make a keychain version of the bee and I actually have two bees made out of little bunnies which is the other fuzzy yarn from Premiere and I love this fuzzy yarn but it definitely has its own like style and makes the plushies like really fuzzy so it's nice to have like a different contrast to that super fuzzy like this is very like minimal fuzzy which I love but let me show you guys a quick comparison so this is the little bunny fuzzy yarn as you can see this bee is like super super fuzzy and I've shown you this bee in the past like I've made a bunch of these fuzzy bees just because I love them but yeah so here is the side by side comparison with the different yarn types we have little bunny and then we have pixie dust brights let me know in the comments below which one you prefer do you prefer a, like an outwardly fuzzy bee or do you prefer like a a slightly fuzzy sparkly bee hey guys I'm coming on because I just received a really special package from crochet with Bay, who is Bailey Smith if you don't follow her on Instagram I will link her stuff down below but Bailey is offering a new product in her crochet shop and they are these adorable wooden plushie stands and literally this gift could not have come at a better time because I have my pop-up event this Saturday and this is gonna be perfect to display my plushies look at all this she has spoiled me so basically you will just stack your plushie onto the stand and it will cause it to stand upright and it's the perfect way to display them and she offers all different sizes for example this is the nine inch stand and then look at the bottom super cute has our little logo but yeah isn't this so so cool I'm gonna mock it up and show you guys okay so I actually don't have any plushies at the moment that are like super long or like tall but I want to show you guys anyway because I'm cracking up it's so cute guys look at this <laughs> this is so cute tell me this wouldn't catch your attention when you're walking by a table like having your plushies like elevated is definitely a great market market I cannot say this sentence for the life of me having your plushies elevated is a great market tactic but also it's just so adorable to see them on a stand it makes them feel so fancy so definitely check out Bailey's shop if you want your very own plushie stand thank you so much Bailey for sending it to me before we continue, I just wanted to take a quick moment to say thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're first starting out or you're trying to grow your brand, Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform that allows you to build beautiful professional websites, engage with your audience, and literally sell anything online successfully. One of my favorite features about Squarespace is the ability for you to have your very own online store. You can sell both digital and physical products, and that's perfect for us crocheters because we have both physical products plushies and digital patterns. I also love that you do not need any coding experience to create your website exactly how you like it. They have thousands of professional templates for you to choose from as a starting point and then they have a really easy drag and drop website builder so you can customize your website exactly how you like it and if you sell in person a lot at markets or pop-up events you can get a square reader and that will allow you to take in-person sales and it will sync directly with your online shop. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash crochet by Jenna to receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and with that let's get back into it. Hello friends it is Friday I'm done work and I am going to be doing a mock setup of how I want my table to look for my pop-up event which is tomorrow. So it is from 10 a.m. to 2 and I'm really excited. I made a bunch of stuff off camera just because it's been a hectic week 
week and I was honestly crocheting a lot like late into the night so the lighting was not good enough for me to film so apologies but I will of course show you guys everything that I made once I do the mock setup and then tomorrow I'm really excited because I asked if I could film during the event film the setup and they said yes so I'm really excited to show you guys kind of like the shop layout my table and then me setting up and finally getting like footage of me at like a market I know I owe you guys from the previous two market prep videos because I said like oh I'll film during the event I'll film setup and I never do so this is payback I am going to film you guys but all right let's go do the mock setup have the keychains hanging here right in front because I ran out of room oh my gosh all right I'm just gonna show you guys in depth I have all my cute little keychains hanging here in front and then I have all my little birds in this cute little basket here we have a mushy boy a baby mallard and then two additional um, keychains then we have my two emotional support pickles, my pumpkin pie ghost, my two fuzzy bees, an axolotl. Up here we have all the little triceratops. We have the octos that I really want to sell. Hopefully they find their forever home. Oh no, some of these got all messed up. Up here then we also have some more dangling keychains. Maybe I'll put like the mushies all in front and then the other like fun keychains on here just to switch it up. Then we have my three little penguin boys, some leggy froggies, and of course the chickens and the triceratops. I'm going to try and make a jumbo mallard and maybe a few other things before the event tomorrow. But yeah, it is looking very cute. It's only a four inch table so you know, we don't have that much space. Oh my gosh! Also, Callie. Hey, Cal. Hey, girl. But all right, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it is the next morning. I have loaded my car. As you can see, I don't have nearly as many plushies as I usually do, but we're just gonna roll with it. We'll see how we do. I actually made this adorable jumbo mallard last night because I was like, I need a wow factor. I need like a plushie to draw people in. So we have Mr. Mallard here, but all right, let's get to the shop to set up. I also never show you guys this, but I am delivering all of the orders. I have one Trader Joe's bag full and then these these two TJ Maxx bags full and yes I do have a TJ Maxx bag with all of these cats on it I love that bag but yeah gotta drop these off first and then we'll head to the pop-up thank you guys for all of your orders oh my goodness you guys are the best okay so this is the outside of the store how cute is it guys with all of the Christmas decor the store is called the crooked letter and all right let's go in Wow, it's gorgeous. Like I said earlier, they sell all handmade things from Mississippi makers. It is such a cute space. There's my table. I'm gonna set up now. I brought my tripod. I'm keeping my promise. I'm gonna show you guys the process. 
But yeah, isn't it so cute? I've done business with this store before. And look, guys, you see, you have a little gingerbread man is here and the little octos. But yeah, it's super cool to bring you guys along today. Hey everybody, this is the fit. I'm literally wearing one of the shirts from Crooked Letter, support local, very fitting. Literally look at this background, I am obsessed. But okay, let's go set up. Got my coffee, a must. Got my little sign, QR code. I also did not forget to bring my business cards. Cute. So I didn't show you guys yesterday, but I went ahead and tagged all of my products and put the prices on them just so it makes it easier for customers. I noticed customers get pretty shy when approaching your table, so I try to make it easy for them. If they don't wanna ask questions about prices, they don't have to, everything is clearly labeled. Okay guys, I think I am done my setup, and yes, I am kneeling on the ground right now. <laughs> Let me get up. Here she is. All right, Mr. Mallard is the star of the show. Then we have my Triceratops, my Pumpkin Pie Ghosts, the Bees, Axolotl, Leggy Froggies, Emotional Support Pickles, we have all of the little birdies, the miniatures, all of the little keychains. We got some octopi, chickens, and triceratops, and of course the fun little keychains, my little eggy penguins, and yeah, we are keeping it simple, this market. But all right, the event is gonna start soon, so I will catch you guys after the event. And yes, I'll definitely take a video of the after portion because I never remember to do that. But all right, see you guys. So in between slow periods, I brought yarn because I'm still making my big turtle order. So I'm gonna crochet when it's slow. Then of course I brought all of my hooks and everything. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I wanted to come on because I want to talk about how my pop-up event went. I don't know about anybody else, but after I get done an event, I am so socially and like mentally and physically drained. I literally went home and like laid on the couch for the rest of the day. So needless to say, I took the day for myself and now it is the next day. So let's break down how the event went. So the event was 10 to 2 p.m. and there was definitely a lot of great traffic in the store. And then actually yesterday there was another like market Christmas bazaar going on downtown. So there was like a lot of things happening downtown yesterday. So a lot 
lot of people were out and about, so that was great. And it's actually crazy because after my event, I checked out the Christmas Bazaar and I saw someone selling crochet. So of course, I immediately had to go up to them and be like, oh my gosh, I love your table. I also crochet. And to my surprise, she was like, oh my gosh, I know. I watch all of your videos. I know who you are. And I was like, what? It's so crazy. I think it's just so crazy when people actually know who I am and they actually watch my videos. It makes me so happy knowing that you guys genuinely enjoy watching my videos. So thank you so much. But here is a picture of us at her booth. Like how amazing is her setup? She had so many great plushies, like a lot of inventory. And I was talking to her for a bit and she said she did really well. So we love to hear that. We love supporting other crocheters. If you guys want to follow her, I will put her Insta handle on my screen. It is Cheerful Chaos Farms and Crafts. I love her name, by the way. But yeah, that was super, super cool. And then during my pop-up event, there is literally somebody who lives in the same town as me. She like messaged me on Instagram and was like, I can't wait to meet you. And I was like, wait, is she like also from my town? Is she like traveling to see me? Like it was crazy, right? So she came in and she literally brought me a gift. Like, can you believe that? Thank you so much, Layla. I will also put Layla's Instagram handle here as well, crochet by Layla. And she literally gave me a turtle that she made. Like, look at this, guys. Look at the sparkly shell, juicy couture yarn, love that. And then, yeah, I love the little cotton candy color combination she did for me. So thank you so much, Layla, for the sweet gift. And then she also wrote me a really cute card and gave me some stickers. But yeah, my mind was just blown. Here is a picture of us, literally. And then I will insert a video too because I was like so excited that someone from my small town in Mississippi like literally knew who I was, watched me, and also was a crocheter. So here is the video of us. Hey everybody! Look, I met a fan in real life! She literally lives in the same town as me! And she gave me a gift! How sweet is she? Okay, amazing! So yeah, my mind is blown, needless to say. Like, that was such a cool experience. But okay, back to the results. You guys are gonna hate me because I kept saying over and over how I was gonna get an after shot of my table. I guess there's just something about me that like literally mentally checks out after an event because I packed up and I left. There is no footage of my after table. I am so, so sorry, but let's go into everything that sold and hopefully that will help you guys. So I'm pulling it up on my phone. I roughly kept track of everything. The store that I did the pop-up event with, they actually handled like all of the transactions. So I will get the official like dollar amount and count later on, but I also kept track. So this is what I'm gonna report to you guys. So I sold around like 16 items. I sold both of the flower keychains, which were $6. I sold both of the mini mallards that I made, so that was two mallards for $12 a piece. I sold the mini jellyfish keychain, which was $8. I sold two leggy froggies, and they were $10 a piece. I sold two of the chickens that I made, and they were $12 a piece. I sold my one regular size Triceratops, and he was $15. I sold one Mushy Pup keychain, and that was for $7. I sold a mini Triceratops tops for eight dollars i sold one large octopus and he was for fifteen dollars i am so happy that he sold i had those octopi since probably april so i'm excited that one finally went to its forever home i sold my small fuzzy bee and that was fourteen dollars and then i sold one of my mini egg penguins and that was for six dollars so let me go calculate how much that is Okay, I just did the calculations, so I sold $153 worth of products, and that was actually 15 products sold. So, not bad at all. I really enjoyed doing the pop-up event. I think I mentioned earlier to you guys that I don't necessarily do markets for the money, just because I tend to not make a lot of money during these events, but I really do it for the social aspect. I love talking with customers, I love like engaging with people in real life about crochet, and of course, I love me meeting people who like watch my videos and also crochet themselves. It's amazing. So yeah, if you're on the fence about doing a market or a pop-up or any kind of like in-person event, I highly recommend it. It's super rewarding and it's a great experience to like get yourself out there and really get your work out there. People usually are very, very sweet and it's very like validating. But all right, I think I'm gonna call the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was so much fun taking you guys through like the beginning to end process of doing a 
a pop-up event. I hope you find this video helpful and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.